G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how to install our firebox slab mounted system. Now these are suitable for head of wall penetrations above apartment entries or riser shafts, basically anywhere that you want to build in your fire protection from the start of the project. Now the firebox has a detachable lid which will attach to the slab first. Put the bottom section and the foam plugs down for later use. Now when you're installing the top plate of the firebox to the underside of the slab you need to use the approved fixings and they are M6 Dynabolts or M6 screw tight masonry anchors. Otherwise you can use powder or gas actuated shoot in nails. So when you're putting up the top plate, it's important to make sure it's in the center line of the wall that's gonna be erected later. When you're using the screws, make sure you're putting in two per side or if it's a longer box at 300 mil centers on both sides of the wall. Now that the top plate is installed, it's time to run your services. Now you can run the services at any time during the build and even once the firebox and wall installation is complete at any time during the life of the building. Now that the services are in place, you can put up the bottom U section of the firebox. Now it comes equipped with these little notches on the side which will slot perfectly into the top section. Now in today's video we'll be simulating a plasterboard wall install and if that's the case you need to install the head track to go around the perimeter of the firebox and continue on to the other side. If you've got a Hebel wall on site or a speed panel wall you can look up our firebox technical manual which will have specific instructions for each one. The wall needs to be installed as per the plasterboard manufacturer's instructions and then it's a matter of applying some fire flex sealant around the perimeter of the firebox. Now when you're installing the stud and the plasterboard, make sure that the annular gap around the box is no greater than 20 millimeters. Now in situations where you're gonna use the three-sided T-wrap, so anywhere above 60 minutes FRL, you're gonna to wanna to leave the sealant flush with the wall. But if you've got a 60 minute application where you're gonna wrap the services only and not the box, you need to put a fillet of sealant 25 by 25 millimeters all the way around the outside. Now that the services have been run through the firebox, we can look at installing the foam. Now the best way to cut it is down the middle in half with a short serrated blade. A hacksaw blade works perfectly for this. So I'm just gonna notch it down the middle. and stop just before the ends. And that way I can fit it around the services and notch out a small profile undersized so it'll fit nice and tightly around the pipes and cables. So here's the profile I've notched out in the foam and I've done that simply just by ripping off bits to suit the profile of the services. Now it's just a matter of putting it in place and filling up any gaps. Now, if you have a look down the middle, you'll see there are some gaps around the services and the easy way to take care of them is just using off cuts of the foam. So I'm just going to rip out a few bits and pop them in. Now at the end of the day, you don't want to see any daylight through the box once you fit the foam plugs on both sides. Now if you do have a cable tray running through the firebox, you will notice that there are some lips on these cable trays where you can see straight through. So it's important to plug them up with a bit of foam um, or, our inch, or our acrylic or intumescent sealants. With the foam installed, it's time to do the T-wrap. Now T-wrap's here to prevent heat transfer coming through the services themselves if there's a fire on the other side of the wall. Now firewalls are rated for both directions so you do have to do this step on both sides of the wall. For firebox slab mount applications, T-wrap actually comes in pre-cut strips so that's what we'll be using today. We're going to mock up a 60-60 FRO wall which means we only need to wrap the services themselves. So the pre-cut strip of T-wrap is just as simple as putting it around the services, nice and tight. And strapping it in place with cable ties, stainless steel cable ties, 4.6 millimeters in three locations, or you can simply use reinforced aluminium tape also in three locations across the wrap.
Now that's the T-Wrap complete for this one hour wall. If you've got a wall that's rated higher for 9090 or Dash 12120, there's a separate way you install T-Wrap where you have to cover the orange casing of the firebox as well and tie the T-Wrap back into the slab as shown on the screen now. Now some builders will require you to put penetration labels and stickers on your penetration systems. They'll go on directly underneath the firebox for future inspections. We also supply our fireboxes with the sticker, which gives future sites and maintenance managers some information about how to run services through the firebox at a later date. That's all for today, guys. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to contact us at technical at tgroup.com.au or visit our website tfire.com.au to find all the product information, all the test reports, and everything you need to complete your firebox installation.